Hello, my name is Roy Baker, and I'm a part of the production crew at Titanium Studios. And my job for the last few months has been the cameraman. Okay, I'm reading off a script. And I'm not good at reading off of scripts because you can literally see that I'm reading. You can clearly see that I'm reading off of something, and it's not as effective. Um, I wasn't eligible enough to have a camera crew sent to my house, so um, what was sent to my house was this paper in the mail, which took three months. And there are instructions, and there are things to say. And the first thing is to look out of a window and peer at the sun for six seconds, and then turn to the camera and then talk about Titanium Studios and your skill set, which I gave up on the script. And the instructions say to be sitting next to a window and have a plant. This took three months to get to me, this script. So I was told that it would take two weeks. So I bought this plant and I've been watering it for three months. You don't need the script. My name is Roy Baker, and I am a part of the production crew at Titanium Studios. And um, as you don't know, I am the cameraman for Kyle Ham Sandwich, and Titanium Studios is in production of Beyond Scared Straight to the Pound. And there was an incident. There was an incident with the show, and I was fired. So this is my checkup. Kyle Ham Sandwich has also been fired, and I was sent to his house to check up on him, and I ended up almost dying. So I sued, and I got $3 million, which I have been using on this house, and it is very nice. And um, has uh, I got news that Kyle Ham Sandwich was arrested again, and he is in a psych ward. Gotta feel bad for him. He was an asshole. He only cared for the money. But, um, I'm living life. This right here is my beloved camera. This is the camera that I filmed to the pound with. And it's my best friend. This thing has been getting me through the years since I've been fired. It is an HD high definition Sony camera and it's comfortable in my hand um, it's not charged I haven't used it in a few days so let's just turn this on and see what we have in stock <laughs> why don't we uh just get so this is my living room it is quite the mess I do apologize I um I didn't think I would have to film this video today um this is my Christmas tree and I love it. I, I think I decorated it amazingly. And all the presents are for the Christmas party from when my friends and family come. Oh my God, okay. My 55 inch Samsung TV. It is my baby. I love this to death. This is the TV that I watch everything on. I have to watch my Marvel movies. I have to watch my DC movies on. And I just, it's just perfect. Okay, let, let's turn it on and let's see the, the width that this TV has. It's kind of slow. Um, it, it is kind of slow. It does take a while to turn on, but it is a perfectly good TV. I believe I was watching- so put it oh. the well, be Um, let, um, let's just go to the kitchen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of spent a lot of money on this. This is a $90,000 kitchen. Like everything in here cost it, this all, this island by itself costs like $20,000. I know the material is a marble, it is, it's marble in it. Like, it. Look how smooth that is. Look how smooth that is. Okay. Um, yeah, this is my kitchen. There's my living room, my kitchen. I have my, uh, my, my bowls and cups up here. I have plastic cups because I like to save the earth. I like to save the earth. This is a big ass fridge and it is, look at that, okay. Um, okay, we don't need to look at the fridge. 
I'm not an alcoholic. I don't drink that beer often. I don't drink the beer often. So, um, we have a few dishes in the sink. Yeah. <laughs> at least, at least my sink works. At least my sink works, unlike somebody we may know. Um, yeah, this is my kitchen, yeah. Let's get a high vantage point so we can get a full look at it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice kitchen. Oh, this is my garage. I got two bikes in there. My uh, Harley, uh, my Harley and my sports bike. It has some Chinese wording on it, which makes it look cool. And there's also built-in speakers. Let's go take a look at that, hold on. All right. This is my garage, it's pretty cold in here. So these bikes are wonderful. They are super fast and they are expensive. Um, I have my speakers built in over here, somewhere the down here and the right here. And I, obviously I have to have this there, I have to have that. I went to uh, Hawaii not too long ago. Also this bike, I love, this one's faster than the uh, this one. This one is more of a road bike. This one is more of a um, show off to your girlfriend bike. And this one also has speakers built into it, which is pretty nice. And um, they're very dusty. I haven't rode any of these in a while. Yeah, so let's just get out of the garage because it's really cold. It's really cold. Let's check out my room. It is probably a mess, but let's go ahead and do it because it is nice. This is my hallway, my bathroom. Nothing special. It's just a bathroom. And this is my room right here. It's really dark. Um, let me turn on the light real quick. Okay. This is my room. Let's go back out here. Let's go back outside. And then we can come back in. Voila! This is um, my room. It is a mess. Yes. I wasn't expecting to have to make this video anytime soon. So I didn't clean anything up. Look at that. What even is this? This is a Schecter Diamond Series guitar. A Schecter Diamond Series guitar. Look at that. It is a PS5. It is a sexy PS5. Look at that PS5. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you my uh, gaming desk. Real quick. This is my gaming desk over here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that baby right there. So we have our MSI monitor, 1080p to 4K. It supports everything. We got the Xbox down there. Xbox and the PC, it lights up. We have the Iron Man mouse pad and the Avengers, um, uh, whatever they're called. Uh, Michael Myers, oh, okay, we don't, we don't need to look at that. Um, I think that's it. No, it's not on. I illegally own a gun. This concludes of my room. My first room. My second room is right here. Um, the reason why I have two rooms is because when I bought this house, it came with three rooms. And I'm me, myself, and I. So I took them all up. Oh, there's a cowboy hat. See, I don't wear cowboy hats. I don't know why that's in here. So, um, how do I look? There's a video going around of a guy that kind of looks like me and wears a cowboy hat reviewing his sex toys. That is not me. And these are not my sex toys. What have you been doing since Beyond's Care Straight to the Pound? Um... Nothing, really. Um, well, I have been watching BoJack Horseman, which is a really good show. I'm not gonna lie. And, um, I mean, really, I've just been chilling around the house. And I did get a part-time job as a substitute teacher. And I believe I am a good ELA teacher. I'm a good speaker. I'm a good listener. I'm a good reader. And that is true. And I'm a better cameraman. Would you feel comfortable discussing your disorder? I don't have a disorder. Split personality. I do not have split personality. I do not have a disorder. I don't know where they got that from, but I don't I don't have it. 
Moving on. Your hobbies include cosplay. I am not a cosplayer. I don't know where they get this shit from. I'm not a cosplayer. I'm not a cosplayer. Let's make that clear. I am not a cosplayer. It is noted when you dress up, you act out your characters severely. What does that even mean? I'm not a cosplayer. I don't dress up. I don't go to buildings dressed up in fucking costumes and pretend to be them. I am not a cosplayer. I do not own one costume. Okay? I can bring you in warm. Or I can bring you in cold. Yep, I am a little bit of a cosplayer. Um, that has been my hobby, I guess, since I left the production of Titanium Studios. Um, I just don't like being myself anymore. I feel it is a lot more comfortable pretending to be somebody else. And I don't want anything to do with me when I'm trying to be the Mandalorian. So I go full out. I, I'm not in costume. Um, I don't have my parts. They are in my closet somewhere. But I got the main parts, so it's fine. Um, yeah, but this is, this is really it. This is really all I got. Sorry I'm late. I was busy returning some videotapes. Hi, my name is Patrick Bateman. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste, but when sports came out in 83, I think they really came around. Commercially and artistically, the whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of continent professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. In 87, Huey released this, for the most accomplished album. I think the undisputed masterpiece is hip to be square. A song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just about the pleasure of conformity and the importance of trends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, camera! Ah! <laughs> it's a hobby. It's fun. I enjoy it, and I'm not stopping for anybody. And that is that. But I don't have a lot of money to spend on this. Because it, it is really expensive. I mean, yeah... I have money, but not for this particularly. I have bills to pay, groceries to buy, and you know, this is just not something that is that important to me. I mean, I like it, I have fun, but I wouldn't make this a, a career. It's not a skill set. But I don't, I do not go full out on realism. I, I go full out, but not on realism. And that is because money is tight on this. Patrick Bateman was an exception because I got it at a discount store and it looks really cool. It was around like $100 for that whole costume. If I got that anywhere else, it would be like $300. The suit itself. But I got lucky on that. But I don't, I don't go hardcore. I don't. And that is a fact. Believe me on that. Um, so, I lied. Um, who am I working on next? I'm glad you asked. So, uh, yeah. That has been my life for the past few months. And I've been really enjoying it. I think I've been living it to the fullest. And yeah, I did move to West Carrollton. Thanks for asking, and I'm glad I made this video. Pew.
Oh, You have five minutes. Make it quick. Hi. Welcome back to another video of Kyle Ham Sandwich. Are you tired of these yet? You shouldn't be. Anyways, just a check out today. Wanted me to do this for a probation video. See how I'm doing. The psych ward's been very nice. After the little incident with the cameraman they sent me, they wanted me to uh, have some reflection time in St. Jude's psych ward. So I've been, I've been here uh, using. This toilet, this uh, new place, the door's uh, constantly been locked from the outside. They slip food under the door, but uh, besides the regular beatings and the starving nights. Anyways, let's, let's, let's not dwell, let's not dwell. I'm doing fine. Right now, uh, I got a mirror to check how I'm looking. I don't know if there's a fucking camera on the other side or not. It's stalking me. Who am I kidding? I'm. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want to hear? I got news for you. I got news for you. I'm leaving this place. I'm leaving. I'm leaving.